Car- we're here at Karen. Karen is uh, from the skate day, so Karen, tell us about what it's like to skate. I'm just glad I can still do it. <laughs> so, are you having fun at the old skate place? Absolutely. What's missing from this place? All the old people we used to skate with. Yeah, what are all those people on Facebook? There's Is it Colleen? Colleen. Colleen, where's she at? What's she doing? She's probably at home with the babies. I read something on Facebook about she was cleaning the pool out. Yeah, I meant to go help her catch the frogs, but I couldn't get out there. Were they, were they, were they loud? They were very loud. Quite a bit of difference if you look around the rink today than it was back in the 80s. And uh, this is just amazing to come out here to see this place and uh, to see the changes. The floor is different, uh, the walls are different, and, but the skaters remain the same. As you can see, skating and the rhythm of that skate hasn't changed all these years. And neither has the music you're listening to played that song many a day at the skate place here in Lawrenceville, which is now Sparkles of Gwinnett. Talking with Vaughn here at Sparkles of Gwinnett. Now, this is the music we played in 1980, you That's know? Right. You, know that, you know, a lot of stuff has changed. There's a lot of, uh, I was talking earlier about uh, MP3Js now. No such right. thing as a DJ anymore. Right. But, you know, the music at, at a rink has stayed the same. Tell us a little bit about uh, what what you remember as skating when you were doing it as, you know, young like we were in the 80s. Oh, well, it, I mean, it was great, you know, and... Uh, we're trying to revive that, you know, out here in Lawrenceville, this new adult night, you know, making everybody remember, you know, when we were skating as kids, when we were younger, you know, and, and it, it is a good scene. It kept the kids off the streets, you know, it gave us something to do, you know, and a lot of, uh, what a lot of people don't really realize is that this was the place, you know, other than, you know, your shopping mall where the kids were, this was their first independence. You know, your parents would drop you off. You know, you might have met your first girlfriend or your boyfriend or, you know, and, uh, you know, the, the side aisle is a lot brighter, a lot brighter with lights than it was in the day because I don't know how many kids were made down there in that back corner. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct, yeah. It's like, you know, how many little rugrats have I got running around? But, you know, I mean, yeah, that's amazing, though, that to see that the skating industry has changed a lot. But the music and the basics of it has remained the same. The basics remain the same because, uh, you know, coming through the, you know, from the 70s, 80s, you know, 90s, it was a creative time, you know, for music. And, uh, you know, we got a chance to come and grow up through that and experience it. So a lot of these songs now, you know, we get a lot of youngsters come on this adult night and they hear the songs that they think are new to them, but they realize, hey, this is made off of, you know, an old Egyptian lover song or, you know, an old uh, Shannon and, you know, all the old freestyle stuff from the 80s, uh, Lakeside, you know, Cameo, you know, just old funk and soul and, you know, it's great. DJ HD over here uh, styling and profiling with iTunes. What's happening over here? What's going on, man? Now, this is not iTunes. This is an original Real live DJ production going oh, on. Okay, this is real live original mixing. So yeah. you're really you're really beat yeah. mixing this stuff. Yeah, we, together. we going. I'm going song for song, beat for beat. You know, no BPM counter. Love that. No, no computer. That's just old school. Yeah, man. old school. What are you school. doing? You exactly. let the computer do it. What's well, the computer takes too much control from me. You know, I'm out of control when I got to you know rely on the computer to do my beat matching. So I do it myself. You know what I mean? Like from the old school. You know what I mean? And it makes sense for it to be for the old schoolers out tonight exactly. for you to do it the way they remember yeah. that. Yeah, so. and, and see that what it does, it, it puts them in that state of mind of 20 years ago when the music was actually, you know, you get the almost the full song. Mm. And then at the break of the song, the next song is coming in. You know, it's not a lot of heavy scratching, just no. a lot of mixing. So I remember back in the day, the Planet Rock. Exactly. You know, with that full sonic force. Right. And uh, Grandmaster Flash. I remember all that stuff. Man, that was some good music. Yeah, that was the real music. I mean, unfortunately now, I mean, music is music, but it's not the same. No auto-tune back then. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Everything, you know, a DJ has to know how to mix the music to order to survive. Nowadays, you just got to get your computer and just put the music in a certain order, whatever, so. So the difference is, you're looking at an artist. Exactly. I hear exactly. You, man. exactly. That's what I'm talking all right, about. All right. All right. Oh, hey. 
uh, over here in the game room now, checking out all the games. This stuff, uh, I tell you, when we were skating, we had Pac-Man, Centipede, Defender, that kind of stuff. And wow, I mean, look at the stuff you have here. If uh, uh, look, standard pool table though, and the air hockey. Love air hockey. Got to be one of the greatest arcade games to ever come around. Now this is old Dr. Shock. We're with the Boogie Down Skate Club. We've been doing it. Well, the club's been uh, been in service, I guess you can say, getting down since 1973 in one form or another. We've did a lot of old TV shows back in the day, and we actually did a uh, movie with one of our uh, heroes, uh, Fred uh, Berry. They used to call him Rerun from What's Happening, and uh, we did a movie with him back in 99, a lot of old pop blocking stuff. So, so you guys are doing the, uh, the old funk dance moves on the skates. Uh, uh, you know, that is a lost art. Oh, yeah. It's, hey, I tell you what, now dancing to me is just like a work of art, just like somebody... Uh, uh, our artist painting a picture on the wall. Dancing is just my life, you know, and music, the funk uh, from the 70s and on and on, you know, the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Hey, I live for the 80s, but I love the 80s because that's when it was happening. The girls was on the floor, baby, let me tell you. <laughs> Woo! This is Dr. Shop with the Boogie Down Skate Club, and let me tell you something, Mr. Vaughn here, we we got Miss Sparkles in the house too, I'm telling you, if you, the funkiest night in the ATL is right here every Sunday night from 8 to 12 at Sparkles in Lawrenceville. Can you dig it? Can you dig it?